Radio WSGW and online WSGW.com. A mostly sunny good morning to you. I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. Having a pretty good day out there. Mostly sunny skies. Still a little bit of a breeze, but a very pleasant day to be walking, working, whatever you're doing outside. Can't think of a better day, really, than uh, what we are looking at today. Simply because not only are we going to be exceptionally warm, but we're not going to have the winds to contend with uh, like we did yesterday. Terry Henney here at Radio Center along with Jonathan Dent. Uh, John, what are we looking at temperature-wise right now? Well, it's warming up out there. Right now out at the airport, they're reporting 73 degrees. Downtown Midland is, hold on, let me make sure I got 77 degrees. Wow. And here at Radio Center, we've got 74 degrees. Southwest wind, 17 miles per hour, gusting up to 24. So we still got that breeze hanging around. I had to double check, just yeah. like you. Yeah. 77 that's not a typo. No, that's, no. that's what it says. I uh, Don and Flint, they broke a record yesterday uh, by a degree. Uh-huh. They, they hit 81. Uh, we hit 80, and as many of you are aware, that was a little bit shy of a record. But our record today, as we mentioned yesterday, is 82. That was said back in 1941. And our chances, as you can tell, uh, look pretty good as far as at least tying that record, if not uh, going over you know, you've you've said it before, Jonathan, uh, you know, the law of averages, uh, Mother Nature is going to get you sooner or later. Yeah, we're going to get I thought that we were like on, on the rise because of kind of cooler temperatures to start off the year. But no, we're going to plummet back down, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, I mean, really, we started off the year very mild. And uh, the month of January, we were quite a bit above average. That's true. Uh, February, we were at a little bit below, uh, didn't pick up any more snow than what we normally would, but still we had some snow. Mm-hmm. March, uh, for the most part, was not a snowy month. Uh, we had a lot of ice. Yeah. That's what uh, really made things unpleasant. Uh, and it's it's one thing to shovel snow. It's another thing to push ice around. And uh, we, we had more than our share of that. The month of April is not usually a real snowy month, but we've had some days in April where we've picked up um, five, six, seven, eight inches. Today's not one of them. Uh, We've picked up quite a bit of precipitation so far for the months, but nothing unusual. The month of April, we should have about three and a quarter inches of rain. Uh, And so far, we've had officially at the airport only about one and three quarters inches. Now, some of you have picked up a lot more. Uh, matter of fact, we uh, were talking to a couple of folks over the weekend and uh, Easter weekend, and they had over four inches wow. of rain. So it was uh, it was plenty, plenty enough. It looks as though whatever rain showers we're going to get over the weekend are going to be pretty much zeroed right in on late Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, on again, off again, a shower here, shower there on Sunday. But for the most part, our temperatures are going to be running quite a bit above average still. Uh, we'll be flirting with 80 degrees in some spots on Saturday. I think probably here in the Great Lakes Bay area, 78, not out of the question. Sunday, the warmest part of the day is going to be in the morning. As we go through the afternoon, we're going to see those temperatures uh, continue to drop. And then Sunday night into Monday morning, we are going to be right around the freezing mark. Uh, I'm looking at... Rule of thumb, upper 30s, but some of you will be a little bit cooler than that, and we will be getting some precipitation moving into the morning hours on Monday morning, and that could very easily uh, be a little white, uh, not clear as far as the the moisture goes. Now, as we go through the day on Monday, it's going to be chilly, and it is going to feel cold because we are going to have a wind. We're going to have a wind chill. And our temperature is going to be right around 42. So instead of 55, 56, yeah, we are going to be below average. But then as we move into the work week next week, temperatures are going to begin to work their way back up. Tuesday will be a little bit below average, but not much on the temperatures. Wednesday, I think we're going to hit 60 degrees. And with that is going to come an end to any precipitation for a little bit. 
uh, Monday, Monday night, we'll see some tapering off of whatever moisture we uh, do get. And then by midweek, we're going to be looking at uh, partly to mostly sunny skies and temperatures beginning to climb. Now, the long range to take us all the way through the 26th. So uh, we're moving into the final week of the month of April. We're looking at our temperatures to be pretty close to average, maybe just a tad above. Precipitation values, though, are supposed to be actually a little bit below for this time of the year. 55 is what's average for a high. 35 is the average low. The record low on this date is 14. Thank goodness that's going to stand for another year. That was set back in 1950. Now, a year ago, we had a pretty nice day. We did get some rain. We got about a third of an inch here in the Great Lakes Bay area. Our high was 70 and our low was 49. So, uh, yeah, we were running above, but not as much as what we're seeing this year. And for uh, the calendar year ending on the 13th of April, a year ago, we had just a little bit better than seven inches of rain altogether. Uh, That compares with just under 10 inches that the airport has seen so far. And again, as we said, the airport is not indicative of what you might have in uh, your backyard as far as moisture goes. Sun, a lighter breeze. Instead of uh, wind gusts of 44, like we saw yesterday, uh, we're going to have um, southwest wind, 15, 18 miles per hour. Uh, Much lighter tonight, southwest breeze, right around 10 miles per hour with 54. Tomorrow, uh, again, a southwest breeze, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, 80 degrees for a high, a few high clouds around tomorrow. And Saturday, as we said, uh, 79 degrees on Saturday, we'll have a southeast breeze because there is a low-pressure system coming at us. And with that counterclockwise circulation, that's why we're going to get a southeast breeze on Saturday, but not very strong, 5, 6, 7, 8 miles per hour. That's going to be it. 79 for a high, 60 for a low on Saturday night. So very pleasant as a low-pressure system will be forming over Kansas on Saturday. That's the reason why the wind direction, and that's the reason why Sunday morning is going to be probably the warmest part of the day for us. As that low approaches, uh, it'll uh, eventually pull a cold front down through on Sunday night, and that's when the snow shower, snow flurry activity is going to kick in. Northwestern sections of the lower peninsula will get measurable amount of snow. Uh, It'll melt right away because soil temperatures right now are at 50 degrees in a lot of areas at the two inch level, including Northern Michigan, where you know as well as I that over the last couple of days, they've had some really warm temperatures, uh, even up in the Alpena area, Rogers City, and over in the uh, the Traverse City area. So that in a nutshell is what the weather is all about. Standing by, who do we have? We're going to be talking with Doug Klein from Oppenheimer. He'll start off our market report today. Then we'll get those prices for you from MAC and Breckenridge. All of that's ahead. But first, the weather report today brought to you by the folks at Nutrien Ag Solutions. Nutrien Ag Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrien Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrienAgSolutions.com. Say, do you want to unlock the secret to higher yields? If you're applying dry fertilizer, the key to better yield potential is Titan XC. Titan XC is a fertilizer biocatalyst that unlocks and releases the bound up nutrients in granular fertilizer, promoting better root uptake and plant growth, drive performance this season and beyond. Release more nutrition, expect better results with Titan XC. For more information, visit lpi.ag unlock or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant today. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Weiss Equipment in Frankenmuth, those farm all tractors. They've had a lot of folks looking at them. Thank goodness they've got the inventory that they have. But uh, it might be a really good idea to check them out while they're still there. Because they've got the full line of Farmall tractors from the uh, Compact Farmall A to the Deluxe Compact Farmall C and C Series with cabs. The key to it is the horsepower. 
35 to 140 horse. So don't buy too many horses. Buy just enough for the job that you want done. And perfect folks to be talking to are the folks at Weiss Equipment because they know that that farm all can do just about anything. That's why they call it the farm all tractor. No matter what you're doing, can do comes in red. And it's called farm all. Check them out at Weiss Equipment, 450 North Main, across from Frankenmuth uh, Kroger store in Frankenmuth, doing it right longer. We say good morning to Doug Klein over at Oppenheimer. Doug, uh, do we have any uh, billionaires that decided to take the wrong step or what, what's going on today? You know, they've been keeping that quiet lately since it's, since it's been so much fun reporting on it. Good Lord. Uh, we don't want to give them any more joy in, in this world right now. And is, is, I hope North Korea isn't uh, shooting any more missiles over Japan. That that was a little crazy when uh, when I heard that yesterday. That's the world we live in now. Yeah. Yeah, it's all crazy. But the uh, the PPI, Producer Price Index, came in cool today, so a little less than expected. Uh, that got Wall Street excited somewhat, you know, not, not excited to the point where the short covers are going to really have to start covering some of their illegal shorts and, and uh, illicit bets. But uh, it's a start. It's a start. Stock market's up a half percent on the Dow and three quarters of a percent on the S and P and about one and one point four percent on the Nasdaq. So that's that's healthy. Uh, the dollar's down because possibly interest rate hikes are coming to a a halt sooner rather than later. One of the big crooked banks said that they probably are definitely not going to raise interest rates in July now. Uh, still probably going to raise a quarter in May, the first week of May. So that's still on the table. But again, that just depends on what he what he says afterwards on how the markets are affected. But gold and silver and platinum all on a hot run. Um, not quite at new highs, but they're getting awful close. Uh, Bitcoin, the same thing. The the crypto stuff is is very hot right now. A little bit of mistrust in in banks and institutions generally. Uh, that makes sense, considering all the things we've been through just in the last six months. And uh, and some momentum, too, some short covering and all that stuff going on. So so that's it in a nutshell. Crude oil is kind of flattish, 82.75. I guess that's high enough if you ask me. But here's your numbers. The May corn is 653 and a quarter, down two and three quarters. December corn, 553, down two and a half. Uh, the May soybeans, 1503, down one and a quarter. November soybeans 1309 and a half up one and three quarters. The May wheat is 665 and a half down 14, and December wheat is 702 and a quarter down 11 and a half. Crude oil is 82.80 down 46 cents. Heating oil is 268.87 down one and a half cents. Gasoline 284 down 3.2 cents. Natural gas at 203 and a half is down six cents. Over to currencies, Canadian dollar. U.S. dollar buys a dollar, 33.49 Canadian. That's down 89 ticks. The yen is at 132.31. That's down 81 ticks. The euro is 110.56. That's up 67 ticks. The dollar's at $1.95. That is down 54 ticks. So that's getting close to parity again with, uh, with the indexes. Interesting. So gold is at 20.35.40, up 24.50. Silver is 25.88, up 42 and a quarter cents. Platinum's at 10.59, that's up 31.50. Right now, wholesale gas prices. What did you have on that? Uh, setting around 284, um, 350. Yeah. Wow. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I guess I got to buy some more milk. Yeah. Well, I get some more points and, and dumped all that gas in my cars already, so I ain't got that to fall back on. <laughs> 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 well, now's the time to be buying that wreck gas because uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have lawns to mow here pretty quick. Oh, oh God! And that yeah. uh, that stuff works uh, works probably the best of any of our uh, small engines. Yeah, it's the safest bet. Yeah. Long. Yep. But uh, everything is uh, working its way up. And again, mm -hmm. you're talking the first of May, thereabouts, maybe first week of May. Yep. Yep. That's the that's the next Fed meeting. Hmm. Mm. All righty. 
Okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Yep, all right. right. Doug Klein over at Oppenheimer. How all of that translates into cash paying prices. Let's go over to MAC in Breckenridge. We're right now we're looking at uh, plenty of negatives except for the soybean pit. Uh, right now the wheat is down 11, 619 for the white, 584 for the red. MAC has the new crop down nine, 678 for the white, 608 for the red. Corn down a penny at 621, new crop down two at 493. The uh, soybeans are up six, 1478. The new crop was up four at 1252. Market report brought to you today by the folks at Steiner Tractor, new parts for old tractors made easy. That's simply because they do take their job personally at Steiner Tractor Parts. They understand how your life and job both stop if your tractor stops running. Now, any of these names sound familiar to you when you're talking tractors? Alice Chalmers, Case, Cockshut, Ford, International, John Deere, Massey, Minneapolis Moline, Oliver. You know any of those, Jonathan? I got them all. Got them all. I don't got them all, but I recognize them (laughs) all. (laughs) Well, tune-up kits, electrical components, carburetors, rebuilt kits, manifolds, mufflers, sheet metal, lights, rims, steering wheel. Yeah, you kind of get the idea. They've got it at Steiner Tractor for those tractors and more. Want to make that tractor look pretty for the summer show season? It's coming up here pretty quick. Steiner Tractor can help. 800-234-3280. Or go to their website at steinertractor.com. Market report also brought to you by the folks at Quality Roasting of Reese. Offering competitive, consistent prices for your soybeans. They process local beans. Market local Exceller meal, which is a high bypass soybean meal. That's designed for your dairy herd since 1991. If you'd like more information on that, just uh, tell your nutritionist or your local feed dealer today about that soybean meal, Exceller meal, high bypass soybean meal from Quality Roasting of Reese. Along with me, Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. Jonathan, I think he's got the plant of the week for us today. It's a good week to have a plant. Jerry, how are you today? <laughs> it's always a good week to have a plant. And a, and a great week to plant the plant, right? That's right, Uh Plan of the week this week is uh, is weeping beech. So there's so many different varieties of weeping beech in itself. There's purple leaf varieties, green leaf varieties, very tall, slender varieties, but they're all larger plants. Um, and so many people, when they buy a weeping plant, they say, I want this little umbrella tree. Well, a weeping beech is not a little umbrella tree, and I've never seen two of them look the same. They all have very unique form and habit. And I would prefer just to plant them out in the center and let them grow. And they, they're tremendously uh, graceful feature all winter long. So we buy plants for the Fs, the fruit, the flower, the form, uh, the foliage. Uh, but really it's that winter form. We have six months at least with no leaves. So that plant is gorgeous for all those winter months, and it's a really great plant to have and enjoy all winter long. And they are really sharp when you're able to put, let's say, a spotlight under it. So in the nighttime, it really shows off the the uniqueness of that uh, beech tree. Yes, absolutely. Again, they're just spectacular plants. And uh, I just suggest plant them, give them space to grow, and let them go. And they're amazing. And you've got them? We do. We have uh, all all different kinds of weeping beach, so it, uh, we have them. Come by and see us. We're open for the first uh, Saturday, this Saturday. Uh, of course, it's going to rain, but hey, we're going to be open for Saturday because spring's here. Oh, yeah, but it's uh, you're, you're going to be closed by the time it rains. Yeah, well, good. Yeah. That'll be good. So come, come on out and see us. Fantastic. Jerry, you have a good weekend, okay? Yes, sir, Terry, you too. You bet. Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. We'll be right back. Is it time? Is your lease coming due? Have you nursed your current ride through the winter and now it's time for something new and shiny in the garage? Hi, I'm Steve Cook from Cook Chevrolet and Basser, where lease payments, despite what you're hearing on the news, have been and still are as low as ever. If you don't believe it, check this out. 
loaded four-wheel drive Kukam Silverado pickup with a sticker price of over $54,000 is still available at Cook starting as low as $391 a month. Chevy Equinox is just $263. And once again, maybe the best offer in America, the Chevy Blazer available now from $245 a month. That's less than a cable and internet bill. Spring is here. The time is now. Get out today to the Cook Superstore M15 Top of the Hill Ambassador. One more time. Blazers 245, Equinox is 263, and Silverado's just 391. Payments based on GM employee and family lease and include all rebates. 2800 on Equinox, 2900 on Blazer, 3055 on Silverado. Do it signing. Chevy, find new roads. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at the Frankenmuth Credit Union. They're ready to help right now with lines of credit, equipment loans, financing for purchasing land, credit cards, and more. Find out why they can become your hometown financial solution by either stopping by any of their conveniently located offices or go to frankenmoothcu.org. Who do we have up next, Jonathan? We're going to be talking with Craig Voorhees from the Rummel Agency. Craig, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Happy sunshine again. Yeah, happy oh, yeah. sunshine to you. What a great day to do some building outside, huh? Well, right, Terry. I know the other day we talked about uh, insuring buildings while they're under construction. <clears throat> but today it's a good idea to also look at your current buildings and the current value you have on them on your insurance policy. Uh, with construction costs still on the high side, chances are there's a few buildings on your policy that are probably underinsured. So take a good look at that. You know, most policies, the building values go up a little bit each year to try to keep pace with inflation, but chances are the last couple of years, they've still fallen behind even with that increase because of the, the high prices. So we don't want folks coming up short when their, their building gets blown over or catches on fire and they got to either dip into their pocketbook or go to the bank for a loan to, to finish off the reconstruction. And again, a lot of times, Craig, it's, it's really important that uh, folks get that second opinion, that, that second quote. So it's a good idea to be looking at an agency that does have uh, a variety of different uh, companies and policies available. Uh, that's always a good thing, Terry. You know, we are an independent agency, so we have several companies to work with when it comes to insuring your farm or business. And you know, we're not tied to just one company and we can shop for you. So you don't have to take one less thing off of your to-do list. Craig Voorhees, always good to talk. Have a nice one, okay? We will, Terry. You too. You bet. Craig Voorhees with the Rummel Agency. Uh, we talked a little bit earlier about uh, Acceler Meal, uh, feed product for yep. uh, cattle. Uh, just happened to uh, take a look here in Michigan. Uh, the latest uh, progress report that we received on crops in Michigan also mentioned a little bit about milk production here in the state. And Michigan used to be well known for its dairy production. And then obviously we had a lot of dairy herds go by the boards. But uh, Michigan's uh, milk production in February went up 3% really? from a year ago. Uh, the dairy herd is uh, up, uh, uh, up about 6% from uh, what it was a year ago in February. And the average price of milk in February was uh, 21 point, uh, well, $21.20 20 per hundred. That was a little bit less than what it was in February of 2022, but our milk production uh, was up, up considerably over uh, where we have seen it before. So it's uh, very good. It's very good, good news to see. Yeah. yeah. We'll be right back. Experience the most reliable RTK signal from PC Ag Solutions, compatible with most GPS receivers. Trade in your old radio or modem and get an affordable subscription through us. We have over 25 base station locations across the Lower Peninsula, and we're always looking to add more to our network. Discover more power, more accuracy, and more coverage with our 450 megahertz signal. Call us to learn more today. PC Ag Solutions, 989-868-4444. Hi, this is Ray at the Gick Nursery and Garden Center in Bay City. We've expanded with a beautiful new greenhouse, bringing you more of the outdoors inside for your shopping comfort. More room for you to enjoy the Gick's exclusive garden accessories, outdoor furniture, potted plants, and lawn care. 
See exclusive fountains, herb baths, and all the accessories you'll need for your yard and garden at Big X. You'll also find a great selection of flower and vegetable seeds, onion bulbs, seed potatoes, asparagus, and rhubarb roots. Big X Expanded Outdoor Living Center offers you a great selection of comfortable and colorful Berlin Gardens outdoor living furniture. Visit our grill zone and you'll find Weber gas grills and Blackstone grills and all the accessories you'll need for outdoor cooking at its best. This is a great time to get outdoors and provide your lawn a welcome fertilizing. Find us online at BeGetNursery.com. We'll see you this week at the X on M84, one mile east of I-75, west side Saginaw Road, Bay City. Uh, also in that report, something that affects you and I and everybody that's listening out here, the price of eggs. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a real good reason why the egg prices are still as high as what they are. I'm taking a look here just at Michigan, and Michigan's one of the leading egg producers in the country. Uh, we produce a heck of a lot of eggs. Uh, there are only maybe five or six states that produce more than what we do. Uh, eggs produced here in Michigan over the last year, down about 2%. Nationwide, the number of eggs produced over the last year, down 5%. Wow. And uh, chickens, uh, the number of layers nationwide, down 3%. So uh, there is a reason. Yeah. Why the egg prices are the way they are is just going to take a little bit of time for all of that to come back. Uh, hopefully it's sooner, sooner than later. Yeah. Folks at the Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency want to remind you that sooner is better than later when it comes to getting in contact with them because it's all about risk management. It's all about protecting yourself against the bad and securing yourself and able to take advantage of the good things. They can help. They're licensed to serve all of Michigan with both conventional and organic crop insurance. Now, you can get a hold of their agents on their cell for questions or emergencies, or you can contact the office in Reese, 989-868-4722. That's the Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency. Well, get out and enjoy that weather, okay? Yes, indeed. All right. More than more than I will here sitting in the studio. I was going to say yeah. you're going to be stuck here. <laughs> hey, we'll be back at 1230 with an update, so stick around for that. We now conclude our program with the playing of our national anthem. From the premier kitchen and bath gallery studio.